your first house, it made barely made money or broke even if it was rented. And if that's true, it doesn't make any money at all because not only will it be vacant some portion of the time, probably five to 10 percent, depending on the market, it will also have long term repairs, which are called capital expenses. What are capital expenses, Ethan? Those are your long term things where it's going to wear down. You're going to have to end up replacing the pipes. I think I think of it kind of like we talked about in the Josh Fuhrer episode about airplanes. You're always wearing down something and you're going to have to replace it at some point. And so what do we do to mitigate that risk? Any of you? We know that some money is going to go towards that. And we have either a way to get money quickly. We set money some money aside, maybe not to fix everything at every property, but say uh, you can probably guess that if a roof lasts for 30 years and you have 30 houses, then you're probably going to have to replace one a year. Right. And that's what we keep on our replacement reserves, which is always a good thing when you start getting into investing. And it's incredibly difficult for your first couple of houses. If you only own two houses and one goes vacant, you're almost definitely losing money that month. So what do we like to get to as quick as possible? 10 mm -hmm. units. And why 10, Ethan? I don't know the exact reason why, but as you said, if you have one or two houses and one of them goes vacant, then you have 50 or 100% vacancy, which is not good. You'll lose a lot of money or at least barely break even. But if you have 10 properties and only one of them goes vacant, then you still have 90% occupancy, which, like we said before, uh, is still probably not comfortable, but it's a lot better than losing money every month. And 90% is, if you have 90%, that should be... Uh, that should still be doing decently. Like you definitely won't be making as much money. Like Ethan said, it's probably not as comfortable. That being said, 90% is about where, hey, this is okay. I want to be higher, but we can live with 90% generally. Absolutely. And I kind of just made that number, that 10 up. But that is exactly, I was thinking what Devin just said. If you have 90% of your stuff running, you ought to be able to make it through. And it's obviously how much leverage do you have? What are your payments? How quick are you paying stuff off? And just dumb luck with storms and insurance deductibles and whatever. As a general rule, if you have about 10 units, not necessarily 10 properties, but about 10 units, and you bought them correctly, you should be able to to own them and pay the mortgages and never have to put a dollar in. On really bad months, you might not make anything, but you should at least be able to build up replacement reserves so it's paying you. And then within 10, 15, 30 years, depending on how you mortgage, they're paid off and you're making a lot of money. Exactly. All right, right after this break, Lila is going to bring us back because we haven't even let her say hello. Say hi, Lila. Hello, everyone. We will be back in just a moment and see what Lila has to say on this. Welcome back to the Real Power Family Radio Show. Today we are talking about real estate and how we've learned and, and implemented some of the lessons we've learned into real estate. And one of the things that I found interesting when we went to the National Real Estate Summit this year is that a lot of the landlords are complaining that um, a lot of the people that they are approving to move into home homes are not getting approved because they have problems. For example, one of the problems my company is having right now is a lot of the people that are applying have recent evictions, which does not help them in getting an approval with our company because of our minimum acceptance criteria. And I found that an interesting comment on the, the state of things right now. And I wonder how much of that comes from COVID being a factor because for a long time, people weren't paying their rent like normal. All right, Lila, let's not just throw out vague generalities. I hate that. And I think most of us are sick of hearing the mainstream news with their bias and whatever. So give me numbers between Lila and Devin. If we get 100 applications up until two months ago, 
what was your average approval rating out of 100 applications you'd approve how many? 65 of them. Yeah, 60 to 65. 60 to 65. This month, and it started the beginning of last month and then got better, but right now to date this month, exactly where are you? What percentage? 24. 24%. So we have dropped two-thirds roughly from 65% to 24% in the amount of approvals. What is the number one reason that people are not approved? Evictions, without a doubt. It's more than 50%. So more than half of them have been evicted. But if you make a mistake and you don't pay your rent, then do we hold that against them forever? No. If they go five years and only have one eviction on the record between years five and ten, they can still be approved with us. So you're telling me three quarters of the people, or 76 percent, have been evicted in the last five years. That's three quarters that applied for our houses and apartments, not obviously three quarters of Americans. Well, and, and it's about, it's more than half of those that are, they're being turned down mainly because of a recent eviction. And that's a staggering number. Devin, what would you call that? You said you wanted to talk about this. When what mom was alluding to earlier is how, and I'll get back to the name of this in a second. What she was alluding to is how there was a moratorium on evictions or the CDC tried to stop evictions. Uh, and and they did stop it, them for a little while. Until, yeah. And there were only about six groups of people in the entire nation that stood up against the CDC. Did you know any of them personally? I know one, and that would be you. I because think you have a banner hanging on your left, Devin. That's yeah, I do. Yeah, right over there. 